Hello Angel. How are you? How is your life? Watch this video until the end to improve your vibration and understand once and for all how the law of attraction works. Before we begin, comment on the phrase, I easily attract my desires. By doing this, you express your intention for life to lead you in the perfect flow. Did you know that your mind is the most powerful and valuable asset you possess? The ability to do what you want is within you, you just need to understand, accept, assimilate, and practice a new philosophy of life that will help you rediscover and work on your true self to direct it correctly towards the energy residing within you, making it part of the results you desire and deserve. You can have wealth, you can have fame, you can have a ship. You can become a rock star, you can find love, you can write a book. What do you want? Write it down and place it in a safe place. Now, here's the good news, I'm about to tell you the secrets to finding your magic genie. A genie that will give you what you want. Or better yet, you will learn how to get everything you want and become your own genie. Let's start without further delay. Watch this video and stay until the end because today on the energy, you will learn how to use the law of attraction to get what you want and stop settling for less. The law of attraction what comes to mind when you hear the word attraction? How would you feel if you could attract what you want into your life? Is it really possible? According to one of the universal laws, it is. Just as our lives and everything in our world as we know it are governed by the law of physical gravity, it works in a similar way with the law of attraction. You may have heard of the law of attraction in different ways throughout your life, and undoubtedly, it has manifested consciously or unconsciously. What we call the law of attraction has had various names over the years, including new thought, science of mind, positive thinking, metaphysics, and prosperity thinking. Here are some ways we talk about it. What goes around comes around. What you give, you receive back. Like attracts like. As a man thinks in his heart, so is he. Proverbs 23 verse 7. The law of supply and demand. What goes, comes. Catherine Ponder, author of the dynamic law of prosperity, defines the law of attraction this way, what you radiate in your thoughts, feelings, mental images, and words you attract into your life. The idea of attraction is immediately appealing to most people. It involves drawing something to you, almost like a magnetic pull. The concept of a magnetic energy attracting something towards you is at the core of the law of attraction. Now, imagine what you could attract into your life if you knew how to manage it. Change your mindset. Anyone has the opportunity to see the abundance that surrounds them and quickly realize that any goal is achievable. You just need to change your way of thinking and be more open to receiving. With true courage, determination, faith, and willpower, you can literally achieve anything you decide. In this video, we'll delve into how you can do just that, whether it's completing a workout, writing the next great novel, or starting your own business. Once you can commit 100% to achieving your dreams, who knows what you might accomplish? You might have a great surprise. How to use the law of attraction. Step 1. Ask you must clearly define what you want. Instead of saying, I want a new car, be as specific as possible. Go to the dealership and choose exactly what you want. Try out various car models, take home brochures with different color and model options. After deciding which car suits your lifestyle and usage needs best, you're ready for the first step. Ask the universe to bring you a Blue Z Car Company X model for door king with black leather seats, an integrated Bluetooth MP3 player, and cruise control. Does this sound like a shopping list? Of course, it does. If you want that SUV, you need to ask. 
Otherwise, don't be upset when they hand you a beaten up sedan from the 80s. After all, you wanted a car, right? But you didn't ask for exactly what you wanted. That's the power of the first step, ask. After ordering that specifically equipped SUV, you have to believe that the car is already yours. But wait, it's not in my garage. That changes nothing. Your responsibility in the process is to believe without hesitation that the car is yours, to ignore physical reality. Your car may still be in the dealership, but to you, it's already yours. The moment you doubt or think you might have asked for too much, you will break that guiding beam through which the universe is bringing your desire to you. Finally, you must ask yourself if you can fully visualize what you desire. This is crucial. If you want to be clear about your desire, you must be able to visualize it as a complete package. No detail should be missing, it can't be superficial, and it can't be a general sketch. It has to be complete and specific. If you can do this, congratulations, because most people can't. Michael Phelps' story perfectly illustrates this. Michael Phelps is, of course, the greatest Olympic gold medalist of all time, he won the most gold medals in the Olympic Games. No small feat talk about incredible discipline. Talk about incredible personal mental power. When asked about his secret to success, he was quite straightforward. He said he had a technique where he created a mental movie of himself winning all swimming events. When asked, he said, and he was very direct, I put this imaginary DVD of me jumping into the pool and, stroke after stroke, I replay this image repeatedly until I feel like I'm almost there. And then I basically perform that movie when it's time to compete. When you can visualize with so much detail, you're focusing on an alternate reality. So, you visualize the starting point where you won the gold medal, got the amazing job, met your soulmate, or found the ideal business opportunity. You visualize everything in clear and three-dimensional details, and then, here's the secret, you walk from start to finish. In other words, you picture yourself with a completely different life, in a completely different place, and then you rewind the DVD, so to speak, until you get to where you are now. Then, you put it back in front and repeat several times until you get a map that directs you to where you want to go. That's the difference between mastery and the unstoppable victory of the Michael Phelps type and mere imagination. Step 2. Believe now that you have a clear idea of your vision and know it in detail because you visualize it every day, read it aloud, and memorize it day after day, it becomes very, very clear. And the second step of the law of attraction is to focus on it. Now, focus is not a simple word, it involves mental work. Your primary goal with the second step is to believe in your vision. Believing is the most challenging task for law of attraction beginners to practice. It's also the point where people give up on the entire process and stop trying to attract what they want or need into their lives. After all, the universe hasn't given me anything yet, you tell yourself, so obviously it's not working. You can say it doesn't work, but the truth is you didn't allow it to work. Your belief was not a total commitment, at best, it was indifferent. Fortunately, the universe won't give you a half-ready car. With the law of attraction, total commitment is a requirement if you want to reap all the benefits. First of all, you have to believe that it's possible. Yes, there may be a job in that fancy office. Yes, there may be a huge mansion on the other side of town. Yes, it's possible for people to build that successful business. Whatever your vision is, believe that it's possible. This is the key. It's the foundation of success because if you don't believe your vision can come true, you're wasting your time, you'll end up sabotaging yourself because deep down, you're saying, 
Well, I'm just fooling myself. This isn't real. Who am I kidding? So everything falls apart because you didn't believe in your vision. Believe it's possible. Believe you can do it. You must believe that you can do it. Not someone else, not your friend, not your neighbor, not your brother, not your sister, not your parents, but you, individually, personally, can do it. This makes you the protagonist of the scene. You're no longer looking at your vision as some kind of speculation, no longer about a theory or things that would be nice if they happened. Instead, you're putting it right at the center of your life because it's you who can do it, you're capable of doing it, and there's no power that can stop you. This is what you think. Manifestation really comes down to believing so much in your vision that it changes your emotional state. If you can reach that level, the law of attraction is working for you. Step 3. Receive receiving is easy, you think, but that's not entirely true. You might think you'll have no problem joyfully receiving that SUV when it arrives at your home. You'll be very happy and grateful. If that's all there is to it, then you have a car, but you've missed the point. Gratitude needs to be expressed, not just, wow, what a beautiful car, thank you. You must take some time to show gratitude to the universe or the supreme being of your religious or spiritual beliefs. This car didn't come to you because the seller was feeling generous. The car is a manifestation you asked for and believed the universe or the supreme being had the power and desire to fulfill your need. Accept the fact that your desire has come true. Recognize the steps that led you to where you are. Don't fear them, don't dismiss them in your mind, saying, oh, it's a one-time thing. It won't happen again. I just got lucky. I tell you, if you want the law of attraction to become real in your life and, above all, a tool that allows you to unlock the unstoppable winner you truly are, you have to stop believing in luck. You create your own luck. You start creating your own luck when you start thinking in a certain way. You change the direction of fortune in your life when you start changing the way you deal with your emotions. Recognize the steps that led you to your vision and don't fear them. Don't think that by going through this process, you're wearing it out, that somehow, in some way, you're setting in motion a process that prevents you from repeating the same results. Just accept it. Feel good about it. Conclusion We've all heard the expression, if at first you don't succeed, try again. But moving forward without thinking about why you failed only leads to more failures. The ability to create is a gift granted to all human beings existing in this universe, without exception. Thought is the first step to manifesting any creation. Thoughts are energy, they are real. Your thoughts act like magnets and attract other thoughts, people, and circumstances that harmonize with them. Thoughts operate and obey certain universal laws. Without these laws, there would be no order, and the universe itself would plunge into chaos. The law of attraction states that like attracts like. Much of what was once considered metaphysical and esoteric knowledge is now a scientific fact. Physics has shown that the principles of the law of attraction are as valid as those of the law of gravity. Therefore, it's not surprising that focusing only on problems attracts more problems. The subconscious mind works tirelessly 24 hours a day. It doesn't analyze, doesn't judge, it simply accepts and attracts more of what the conscious mind is focused on. Do you attract problems or solutions? By focusing on desire and expressing gratitude for what you already have, your subconscious mind receives the material it needs to provide a constant flow of opportunities. Whether you seize those opportunities is another story. Start having positive thoughts, think only of the thoughts you want to happen in real life. Think only of what you want to become reality and wait a bit. 
Be patient. One day you'll reap what you've sown because you know the earth will give back to you what you put into it. There's no way to lose. Wait and see. Up to this point in our invitation today. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and share the link with your friends and contacts so they can also learn to use the law of attraction in their lives. We'd love to read your comments. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, do it now and activate notifications to stay updated on our latest videos. Do you want to manifest the reality of your dreams and activate your spiritual DNA? There is a science-based technique that works for you to manifest your desires. Click on the link pinned in the comments here of this video and start your journey of pure transformation today.